another one is obviously one area that you're leading the charge on is energy. You know, we used to kill whales to get whale oil to light our nights, and we ravaged mountainsides, and we drilled kilometers into the ground. Uh, and what's the figure? It's like 8,000 times more energy hits the surface of the sun, the surface of the earth from the sun uh, than we consume as a species. I mean, what's the rate at which yeah. batteries and solar is increasing? It's, it must be massive. Yes, I, I mean... It will- uh, I mean, at, for, at Tesla, we've, we've made a couple of presentations, what, one sort of simplistic and then one in, in extreme detail um, on how to make Earth completely uh, self-sustaining from an energy standpoint. Sure. Um, and, and, and demonstrating that there, that there is no, that if you break down all of the raw materials for a lithium-ion battery and for solar, um, you can easily make Earth, uh, not easy, I mean, it, there's, there's no shortage of materials, it's easily, it's a lot of work, obviously. Um, but, but, but there's not like some critical material that we don't have enough of in order to make Earth fully self-sustaining. Um, it, even if the only way that you powered all of industry on Earth and, and all power, including heating um, and transport uh, electrically, you could do that with solar and lithium-ion batteries um, and, and not, uh, not come anywhere close to depleting the resources of Earth. Yeah. Um, my, my favorite, my favorite example there was uh, back in the 1800s. The most precious metal on the planet was aluminum. It was more precious than gold uh, and and platinum. And even though the Earth's crust is you know eight percent bauxite, you know basically aluminum, it was just so energetically difficult. It wasn't that it was scarce; it just wasn't in usable form yet. And that's what technology does. It takes something which is scarce and not usable and makes it usable, right? So, yeah. And, yeah. It, 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 exact, aluminum oxide is extremely common, um, and, um, but, but it, is, it is a low energy state. Yes. In fact, thermite, thermite, thermite is just uh, iron oxide, rust, and, and, and pure aluminum. Um, and the, the energy difference between uh, iron oxide and aluminum oxide is so great that it generates an incredible and enough heat to melt through steel. <laughs> so that's what thermite is. So, uh, yeah, it, you do need a lot of energy to um, turn uh, aluminum oxide into aluminum. Um, but, 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 yeah, it, it, in, in World War II, there was a massive scarcity of aluminum for aircraft. Sure. Um, sure. And, uh, they dis- in fact, in Britain, the, the Mosquito uh, sort of uh, fighter bomber was... Uh, Made of mostly of wood, um, and, but it was it was done with uh, it, it was basically an early form of of, of composites, but using stiff wood on the uh, on the outside and and light wood and like balsa on, on, as a sandwich structure. It's pretty clever. And now the whole thing was intended to to uh, address the shortage of and, and that and then then we get technology. We get better you know, uh, better mechanisms of extracting the aluminum from the from the aluminum oxide from the bauxite. And this happens over and over again. In fact, that's just what we do. I mean, I think the number was last year in 2023, or maybe in 22, we had more new electricity production from solar than from any other form. And and, and you've done an extraordinary job on battery production. Yeah, and the battery production is growing um, actually almost at at, at several times the rate of vehicle production. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it, in some cases, almost 10x the, the rate of vehicle production. Um, so, so yes, the, there's a massive demand for batteries. And, you know, as, as the world uses more uh, electricity, uh, th- there's actually a lot more capability that the grid has if you can buffer the energy uh, than without it. Because the vast majority of elect- electrical grids sure, it's wasted. Assume no bu- they assume no buffering. Yeah. Um, so they have to size the power plants for for peak output, peak power output, which is typically a hot summer day, um, and 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 then for at, at night you can have and, and anywhere from half optimistically half the power output to sometimes one tenth of the power output. Um, so 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 the, basically the the grid almost everywhere the grid is sized for excess. Um, electrical power output, um, and if you just buffer it with batteries, uh, you can in- increase the output of the grid uh, 
by you know two or three times. I mean, to make um, to make the point here on the abundance theme, um, there is no limitation in energy, right? We are increasing no. the amount of energy per capita, and there's a direct correlation between. Uh, the GDP of a nation and its energy production, right? And the direct correlation between health and education and energy, everything scales as you increase the energy per capita of a nation. 